Hello! Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you guys what to wear on a ride along. I think that ride alongs are important to do because it gives you a little bit of an insight on what police officers do on a regular basis. Definitely recommend going to your local departments and asking if they offer ride alongs. For someone who's trying to get into this career, I always recommend that. I just think that it's such a good idea. That's how I started. I started with internships and ride alongs and I learned a decent amount of stuff before I went into the career. I put a lot of things into consideration. You want to blend in as much as possible. You basically want to be a fly on the wall. You don't want to inconvenience the officer that you're riding with. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do before you leave. I talk a lot about lifestyle, police related videos. If you are interested in that stuff, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. It will mean a lot to me. The reason why I'm dressed like this is because one it's early in the morning <laughs> and I also want to show you guys hair and makeup for females I'm also going to give advice on what males should be wearing as well I just want to look put together so that's why I'm not dressed or anything but I do have coffee <laughs> all right let's jump into the video we're inside my closet <laughs> Definitely recommend business casual. Nothing that has a crazy print on it, a crazy color. You want to keep it neutral. Black, white, gray. Nothing like these, not printed. Something like this that's just plain black. I have this little suit that I got from Nasty Gal that I can try to link in the description box. And it's super affordable. These plain black straight leg slacks. So I would definitely recommend wearing this. Do not show up in wrinkly clothing. You kind of want to look like you're going to an interview at that place, but a little more on the casual side. You want to look professional, but you don't have to dress as if you're going to an interview. You don't have to wear a suit and tie. Girls, you don't have to wear a blazer unless it's cold in your area. Do not show up in shorts. No. When you're thinking about a shirt, you do not want crazy colors, like I've mentioned. So you wouldn't want to choose a bright green. You don't want crazy prints. This is just excessive. It's too loud. So you want to stick with something that's a little bit more basic. A nice chiffon shirt for women is perfect. You want to make sure that you're not showing a lot of skin. Girls, do not be having your chests hang out. That is a no-no. We can put a white tank top underneath, a black tank top, just so that it's not sheer. You don't want to wear anything that's too sheer. Would you show up to the office with a sheer top on? I hope not. I got this from Old Navy. This is perfect, it blends right in. These kind of tops are classic. I think I got this at Walmart. Super affordable, you can tuck it in, you can leave it out. When I did ride-alongs, I tried to go with all black because it just looks professional, clean, slimming. It's just a great color to wear. This is another example. You have to wear something under it because you don't want your cleavage showing. A black t-shirt I think would be too casual. So if you just showed up in this with the slacks, I think that's a little too casual. If the police department that you're going on a ride along gives you a list or tells you what to wear, obviously go with what they're telling you. But this is just what I wore when I went on ride-alongs and these are the kind of things that I put into my mind that I thought was proper and made me look professional. If you only have this, you could tuck it into the slacks and then put the blazer jacket on top. This would be a good option because the sleeves are long. Just make sure that it doesn't show your boob crack. So if it does, put a tank top under it. Guys, I would recommend chinos. Those are a dressy or casual kind of pant. Or you could do slacks with a button-up shirt, long sleeve or short sleeve. I know a lot of the guys button-up shirts can be a little see-through, so make sure you have something under there. Black polo, your dress shoe. For shoes, of course, I don't have them anymore, but I used to wear black ballet flats which I will leave a picture of them in the screen and then I'll put some examples in the description box down below. I don't recommend wearing heel type boots. I wanna keep it flat. Jewelry, 
I would not recommend wearing any kind of jewelry. I never wore jewelry when I went on ride-alongs. I always wear my Apple Watch, so <clears throat> that's totally fine. Dress-up jewelry, I definitely would not wear. Moving on to scents. When you get out of the shower, just put a nice lotion on for females. Therefore, the scent isn't going to be too overpowering and too overwhelming for the officer that you're with because you never know when people are too sensitive to scents. You don't want to be a burden to them and put on a bunch of perfume or cologne. You don't want to smell bad either. If you want to put something, definitely recommend just putting one spritz on. I wouldn't do multiple, just one little on the front of you. I personally love Dossier for perfumes. I have Fruity Orange, Citrus Tea, Citrus Ginger, Aromic Pineapple, and I actually have a few more that are in my bathroom. When you go onto their website, it tells you what the fragrance is inspired by. So for example, the Citrus Ginger is inspired by the Chanel Blue de Chanel and it's the fraction of the cost. I'm glad that there's a brand out there that does that because I'm not one to spend a million dollars on perfume. I just don't think that it's practical and they last so long on the skin. That's it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this smells so good. I also wanna talk about a bra. I think that this is personally super important because you don't wanna have a bra on that's gonna be really uncomfortable and annoying. I actually wear this while on duty, just because it's that comfortable. This is from Amazon, which I will link it. I wanna get a zillion of these because they feel like you're wearing nothing. They're so comfortable, there's no wire. It still gives you a decent amount of support and you won't show the headlights, which we do not want. I would recommend a sports bra but just make sure that you have the padding there so that you don't show anything. I just wanted to share that just because they're super comfortable. <laughs> just a little tidbit. Got the black shirt on. I put the tank on under. A watch is totally fine to wear. Yeah, nice and casual. You're comfortable. Now we're gonna jump into hair and makeup. If I wanna make my hair stay and make it look professional for a very long time, <laughs> Then I use one of these little donuts. Now since the ends of my hair are blonde, I switched over to this color. You're gonna need two hair ties and a donut. I have my good brushes at the PD, because that's typically where I do my hair, so we're gonna have to try to do this with a wide tooth comb. <laughs> you wanna gather all of your hair into a ponytail. Now, we're gonna take the donut and you're gonna wanna spread it around so that it's even. We start to roll it. Then you're gonna take your second hair tie and wrap that around. Love, nice and sleek. I always like to pull it back, spray it. For guys, make sure that your edges are cleaned up on the back, around the ears. If you have longer hair, gel it, put product in it so that it doesn't look messy. Just make sure that it looks put together and clean. For makeup, first we're gonna start off with a primer, just because I like to conceal any pores. This is the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. <laughs> Everything I use will be in the description box in case you guys want to shop anything. The Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter because these come in so many different colors and they provide a little bit of coverage and also give a nice glow to the skin. I'm not one that likes full coverage. I'm going to mix Light Wonder and the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I have number 3 and 4.5. 4.5 is my tanner shade. This Light Wonder. I'm going to shake it first. The sponge and a little bit of... And this will give a really nice, natural look to the face. Any kind of brightening powder? The one that I'm gonna use is from Makeup Forever. I love this powder. It's the Matte Velvet Skin. And I'm just gonna place that under my eyes so that I don't have any creasing. 
and then my smile lines. Throw on a little bit of bronzer. I'm just gonna use the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer on my cheeks, forehead, and chin. So that's not all flat. I personally recommend not going overboard with the makeup. For brows, I typically would just use the Glossier Boy Brow. As of late, I've been really into wax brows. I think that they're so natural and so pretty looking. You want to activate it with some kind of facial spray. So I'm just going to use the MAC Fix Plus. And then you take any kind of spoolie. I got a bulk pack of spoolies on Amazon. And you just rub this in there get a nice coat going and then you apply it to your brows i love how that looks mascara my favorite one is honest beauty and then for a lip you can do just a clear gloss, you can do lip balm. I personally like just a little bit of a color, nothing that's too crazy, basically just my lip color, but emphasize. I have been so obsessed with these. This is the Verse Silk Slip Tinted Lip Oil. These feel so buttery smooth and amazing on your lips. I'm obsessed with it. You see how that just gives you a little bit of color? Another important thing, you can bring your phone but make sure it's on silent and don't be on your phone the entire time. Either keep it in your car or put it on silent. And don't bring like a giant purse, a giant backpack, a bag. If you're a female, what I recommend is just bringing a simple black wallet. You can just keep this either in your pocket, in your jacket. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And of course, I will respond back to you. I really hope that this helped. I hope that this gave you guys some kind of insight. I really appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate your love and support. Until the next video, I will talk to you guys later.